up guys and welcome back to yet another action packed episode of Dingleberries in Cars. A lot of bri the <laughs> brilliant clips are waiting for us today, so without any further ado now, let's dive into this, shall we? Alrighty, we are starting today in a BMW M2, which is in very capable hands, I'm sure. Red Bull gives you wings, but it doesn't give you any driving skills, unfortunately, since it's not a driving yeah, school. Yeah, 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 yeah. Let's inspect the damage now. Oh, it's not too bad. Never mind, I'm taking my word back. That is a solid fence position right there. You're right, huh? What is going on here? You can't park there, sir. <laughs> That's you a can't park Pull over, I'm gonna breathalyze you because I think you're drunk. <laughs> <coughs> Sorry about that. Oh, that gearbox just overtook the Voyager 1. Oh, you're gonna love this one. <laughs> this guy is awesome. I don't know if you knew, but this world is too small for that guy in that tree. It's 12 o'clock, it's time to settle some things. Power straight into a tree. <laughs> I don't know why that guy had a beef with a tree, but I think he won. I don't know if someone is driving that thing or the little golf cart is trying to escape. <laughs> he thought that was a border. <laughs> Anyways, we are moving on. Apparently this guy in a Maybach is denying the existence of those signs and the road works as well. Oh, looks like the Captain Ghost Rider has arrived. And I like how the siren turned on in the end. <laughs> Wow, that's impressive. That's impressive. MotoGP, please give the contract to this talented man. That is an unmistakable sound of an approaching red F-150 with a trailer attached. I knew it. It sounded exactly like one. And if you were maybe wondering why your package hasn't arrived yet, this is your answer. Customer dropped off this car and they said that the windshield washer fluid gets hot. Hmm, that's interesting. The windshield washer fluid gets hot. I don't know what they mean by that. So we're gonna test it out right now. All right, all right, let's see it. Oh, oh. <laughs> I, I bet that guy doesn't have any problems with ice. How cool is that? Fitting a flamethrower on your car. It's always a great idea, especially if it's winter. And in the summer you can always cook some meal or something like that, I don't know. It looks like this guy is inspired by the other guy we had in a previous video, or maybe it's the same guy, who knows. He's doing some spin wheelies now. And unlike the other guy, this guy was left on scene by that officer. <laughs> it's the end of his shift, he doesn't care. Maybe this is a good tactic, actually. If you ignore them, maybe they're gonna stop, who knows. And then you catch them off guard. Oh, when you see this little guy, you know it's gonna be fun. This is a Citroen Army, I believe it's called. Look how he's fighting for the traction with his little wheels. <laughs> I don't know why, but that car is so much fun. You remember the, the video from the Monaco? That one was brilliant. Come on, little guy, push! Come on, you can do it! <laughs> I think that car would be entertaining even if it was parked, you know. Holy! <laughs> Holy! <laughs> Good job, little guy. Ooh, friendly fire will not be tolerated. And this, this is how we like to park sometimes here in Serbia. If it's convenient for you, just leave it there. And here we have one very happy TV. Apparently, he found a new home. <laughs> Oh, dearie me. Okay, okay. That's one very big metal reason to let this guy through. Very subtle way of letting people know you have the right of way. <laughs> and you want to go through. It's very convincing, to say the least. I don't know if you will agree with me, but I think it should be a legal right to unblock your way using speed and power. And this is a beautiful example of it. What car is that? Is that a Jeep? 
Is that a gladiator? I think maybe. Let me know in the comments. Come on, power push! <laughs> he definitely put all of that torque into good use. And he's free, just like that. Job well done in my books. Is this a police pursuit or they're just playing around? What is it? I'm faster than fast, I'm quicker than quick, I'm speed, baby! Ooh! Oh no! The insurance is gonna be like, you crashed into what? Out of all those cars, you chose the most expensive one. You dingleberry. Oh! What is this? A Titanic remake or something? Bro is not driving, he's sailing. <laughs> the seven streets, you know. Just be careful out there. I heard the icebergs are not really good for your ship. And this guy went from the internal combustion to the spontaneous combustion and he's in the wall now. He wanted to be a Mustang for the Halloween, I guess. <laughs> and he also wanted to be as convincing as possible. Uh oh, Optimus don't! Optimus don't! Ooh, I think two drops of pee came out right there. And this masterpiece is the result of the brand new Bugatti and Mercedes collab. I know the fakers will say it's hate, but it's a real deal. I really doubt he had this in mind when he said park the Bentley in two spots. That's a nice car. I only hope the... <laughs> The oil pan is well and alive. Look at that, beautiful. <laughs> the best parking ever. Her genius is, is almost frightening. Oh yes, it's again that time of the year. It's the Quattro season. Look at that amazing RS3. Just listen to that five banger purr. It's really awesome. I would like to own one of the RS's one day. RS6 or RS7 would be ideal, but I certainly wouldn't complain even if I get an RS3. They're all great, so that would be really nice. Now the fans of some other German brands, BMW, <coughs> BMW, would say, but the truck is helping him. Of course he does. When you, let's say, trip and fall and someone gives you a hand to help you get up, do you just stand there and wait for him to lift you up or you try to get up yourself as well? But let's put that aside, this is really impressive. That little car pulling a truck like this, you gotta give him the credit they deserve. It looks like the owner of this Jeep decided to improve the aesthetics of this car. Just kidding, it's not a bad looking car at all. But it is in mint condition and it's barely oh driven. My God. It's basically brand new. Look, it just needs an alignment and a polish and it would be good as new. Let's see what do we have here. Hey yo Thor, you forgot your hammer bro. And next time aim for the Porsche or something like that. Not the Chevy. <laughs> yes, Anyways, we are moving on. And booyah! Play stupid games, no, win stupid yeah. prizes. He didn't expect that, didn't he? Oh, look, that's one happy G class. Look at him go. He's like, wee! Oh, it's an AMG. You can hear it. Oh, that's a huge upgrade from Lada. It's an M5. <laughs> I wouldn't run from that one. And this BMW right here decided to identify the pedestrian for a little bit. Pozdrav za Rumu. <laughs> oh, this is some kind of race. No way. No and on that note guys it's time to wrap up this video thank you very much for watching and i want to thank you for the love and support i really appreciate it so yeah please smack that like button leave a comment and subscribe if you haven't already of course so that's it for today don't forget to power every day and i will see you in the next one take care guys love you all stay awesome ciao ciao